Oh, oops. I actually need to go get my phone before I can't, I don't, can't see chat. Hello, hello, hello. What? It's not picking up the spire. Is it really not? Try that again. Oof, my phone is being weird. Uh, getting a new I have a new phone by the way, I just don't have Twitch downloaded on it yet. It's downloading stuff or something, I don't know. This is all set. This is all set. This will be all set shortly. And then we will be good to go. Hello and welcome. It is time for another run of Ironclad. Let's do it. Ascension 20. Act 1 Exordium. Greetings. We can remove a card from our deck, gain 7 max HP. 
Take 18 damage to choose a rare card to obtain. Or we can lose our starting relic for a random boss relic. And we have a good Hexagos to be dealing with at the end of Act 1. Hexagos has killed many a run. Definitely not to be underestimated. We can fight... Let's see... Maximum of three elites before the Hexagos to make good use of our HP. Uh, however, we cannot rest before the first one. We could take a bunch of question marks yeah. uh, if we For, uh, what's your name? if we wanted to, but then we would not get Perfect, our right? good good card rewards in. Alternatively, so we can take hard. three hallway fights guaranteed. Maybe even a shop if we'd prefer that to a question mark. And then head up to this elite. Um, oh wait, that is what we want to do, right? Because then we can... Well, we don't have any resting in here. And there's not really any way to deviate if things go poorly. Or we have like an event that wants our HP. Then we could get our three elites in. And all the other paths do not involve three elites. So the question is, do we want to commit ourselves to that or not? Um, okay, the path on the right seems pretty garbage because it's only one elite. The path on the left, we get two question marks, three hallways, an advanced hallway, an elite, then an uh, advanced hallway, and then a spicy elite. Then we have two rests at the end. Hey, can be. Welcome, thank you. Yeah, we did pass our exam. Yeah, that's too much for me. It's too much out of the run, sorry. I, I hope everything's been going good for you too. <laughs> yeah, so if in any case, we just have to decide. Yeah, I, I think this path. Uh, is not having three guaranteed hallway fights before an elite is sort of suboptimal um, because you do want the card rewards to get a couple of good attacks in there. You're all right over here? Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Anything exciting going on? Yeah, so I think I think we would prefer to go this go like this or like this, even even no matter what. So I think we will start at least going this way. Um, yeah, so removing a strike, plus seven max HP, taking 18 damage for a rare card. That's a tough choice. If we take the 18 damage, we could potentially heal it up. Um, we could get like a bludgeon or an immolate and I'd be very happy. Um, Maybe we can actually look at the pool of ironclad rare cards real quick. Okay, so how many good attacks are there? There is... Okay, barricade, bad. Berserk, bad. Bludgeon, good. Brutality, bad. Corruption, bad. Demon form, bad. Um, double tap, it's like, not so bad. Feed is very, very good. Fiend Fire is very good. Immolate is very good. Um, Impervious, not so bad. Offering is all right. I played Nerds for the first time last night with the crew. I love Nerds so much, it's such a good game. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Or I'm glad you tried it. <laughs> uh, um, let me check real quick, but I have, let's see, I have, um, I've played Nerds for 50 hours already. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we, we choose a rare card and then we come here and we see what we want to do with it. Is that Kimby? It is Kimby. 
Hey, nothing but cats. Oh wait, it's not nothing but cats. It's Janoki. <laughs> Oops, wrong account. <laughs> Love Mo. Um, yeah. I just I like choosing rare card. It might mean that we don't fight as many elites, but oh my! So these are some really good cards late game. We choice between Corruption, Juggernaut, and Barricade. Um. So we do have to think about the Hexaghost here. Um. Barricade is very questionable against Hexaghost as well as Corruption. Um, but Barricade is so good when we get to Act 3. Yeah, so if we picked Barricade, can we actually commit to trying to go for the Barricade deck right away and like not fight as many elites? I mean, Barricade is fine versus the Gavilan. I'm feeling like the Spire is really testing me right away here with this decision. Corruption is so much synergy with Ironclad, but right now it's not there. Same with Barricade. Skills cost zero whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. Juggernaut, whenever you gain block, deal five damage to a random enemy. Hmm. Yeah, so all of these are unplayable over Scramlin Mob. We're going to be taking a tech, heck ton of damage over Scramlin Mob, right? So we're probably... Well, we can maybe do some shopping. Juggernaut is by far the best versus Hexaghost, and we should try to not die to Hexaghost. Alright. Maybe Juggernaut is the pick here then. I really like Barricade, but... We have to focus on one thing at a time, I think. Taking 10 damage right off the bat. Uh, I have a little bit of a decision to be made here. Because I could Juggernaut or I could double strike and not be weakened next turn. I have a feeling like he's not going to attack. So maybe we do want to make good use of our attacks. Hmm. Juggernaut is good damage too, though. Let's see, if we Juggernaut strike. It's fine. Well, then we take the ten, and we're very sad. Yeah, so we really need to try to survive this Act One. The start was a little bit. Um, Star is really costing our HP, and we need to not die to just some random elites over here. Fire Potion is very good. Maybe we could even fight a Gremlin Knob now. Um, Burning Pact, nope. Rupture, nope. Sword Boomerang, honestly, might be a nope, but it is an attack, and we do need them. Uh, I really don't like Sword Boomerang. Bad versus Sentries. It's fine versus the Knob, but... Yeah, I'm not adding a Sword Boomerang to my deck. I mean, if we got Strength Scaling, it would be alright. 
Yeah. I mean, we have Juggernaut, though. I kind of want block cards now that we have that. Yeah, I'm skipping. Oh, a heal! Okay, this is interesting. Could also pay 75 to remove a card. Um, I do think the healing is very, very good, though. Given that we might want to fight some elites. Okay, so we heal, we go here. Are we still considering the three elite path? We have the fire potion, but we didn't add a card yet. We have two more chances to add a card and a shop where we can potentially add a card. All right, I think we can do it. Like with this extra 20 HP, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. Extra 18. Although this guy is also hitting us for a lot right off the bat, man. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Juggernaut doing some good damage though. Easily deal 10. Okay. Choice between armaments, heavy blade, and war cry. Armaments is working with juggernaut. Heavy blade is an attack. Although it's not a great one. Yeah, this is not this is not really what I was looking for. Um, we can hopefully get an attack in the shop that's better than heavy blade, right? Should we take the heavy blade anyway? Maybe we just buy a potion from the shop. Maybe we could just take the heavy blade anyway, I mean... We have, to, we have to really consider the possibility of the knob, so... Yeah. No, I'm not taking heavy blade. But how are we beating Hexaghost exactly? We don't, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I just don't see Heavy Blade really helping that much. I mean... Let's not worry about Hexaghost, let's worry about Gremlin Knob. Or even Sentries, honestly. Yeah, okay, maybe I take the Heavy Blade. Heavy Blade is such a sad attack. Given that like stuff like carnage exists. But we have one shop where we can buy either an attack or a potion. If we're buying a potion, then we have one other one other hallway fight where we can get an attack. And we're already going to fight an elite. If this is Gremlin Knob, we need to put ourselves in a place where we are not dead to something that comes after up here. So it's a tough choice. Um, Armaments is not bad. It's just it's really bad versus the knob. I guess I'll take try the heavy blade. Okay, so there's a feel no pain here. There's an uppercut here, and there is a block potion. Probably we take the uppercut or the clothesline. Probably the clothesline, actually. 
Close line is a pretty solid attack. The weekend can save us a lot. There's also a feel no pain. Yeah, these are both good. The, the uppercut's on sale, so it's 14 gold cheaper. Um, it deals one more damage, but it has one less turn of weak. The vulnerable is not super likely to be that relevant unless we upgrade it. I mean, the vulnerable works well with bash. Because then it might roll over for bash for another turn. I do like close line better though, I think here. Alright. Um, bash or juggernaut? I guess juggernaut. Let's try to take no damage. Try to take no damage. Alright. Uh, whirlwind. I'm okay with the whirlwind, right? Sentries, it's fine verse. I feel like I didn't need the heavy blade now that I have a whirlwind. But, you know. Whirlwind will save us so much if we get like the little slimes. Okay, we take one whirlwind. And there's the sentries! It's the sentries. Okay, we're gonna fire a potion. One guy probably. Triple strike is 18, not quite a kill with 38, but we do it anyway. Yeah. Ton damage. Uh, heavy blade, 14. Okay, we potion. And strike, and then either defend or heavy. Uh, hmm. Guess heavy. Which which guy do we want to target? We're not killing him next turn, so this guy. Take another ten. Do we want to take yet another ten? And that guy goes to 13. What if we deal 18 to him? He goes to 10. What if we deal 12 to him? He goes to 16. I think 18 is fine as 16. Let's just do this. Maybe we can deal 18. It's kind of unlikely, but... Nice. That was really good. Four dazed. Let's hope we are. Okay, we take five more damage. So, this is what, a total of 30 this fight? A memory negate the next two curses you obtain. Well, not doing much for us yet. Blood potion is good though. Anger, thunderclap, iron wave. Take an anger, right? I don't know, iron wave is good with juggernaut. Iron Wave is good with Juggernaut. Yeah. Iron Wave is really good, I think. Oh, 
Okay, we can remove transformer upgrade. Definitely gonna be a transform on a strike. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. If we were to upgrade, it would be the whirlwind, um, I think. But I really like transforming a strike. There's so much good stuff we could get. Hmm. Burning pact, wasn't it? Exhaust one card, draw two cards. Yeah, I mean, we could exhaust Hexaghost's burns, but that's about it. That is about it. Hiya. Hmm. Okay, so Juggernaut goes 5 now, whereas Double Strike is going 18 now. Okay, I guess Double Strike is probably just better. Uh. Yeah. Battle Trance is quite good. Clothesline that we didn't purchase from the shop. Yeah, I don't think we really need two clotheslines. I love the battle chance anyway. Pair, 10 max HP. Hmm. We lose 11. We have a blood potion, so we are currently at... Blood potion heals more now, because pair. Um... Let's see, so Blood Potion is healing for 17. Yep. So we are at 67. If we lose 11, we're at 56. I think that's plenty. It's the knob! Juggernaut or Heavy Blade? This is 14. This is not, not very much because we're not going to be playing blocks. This is a scary fight, for sure, for sure, friends. Too bad we didn't get Bash. Oh, we didn't get Clothesline, but we have to weaken him. Yeah. We just have to weaken him. Like, then we're not bashing? Oh god, are we just dead? Okay, so we bash strike, say. And that is... 8 plus 9 is 17. He goes down to 34. He is vulnerable. This deals 18. Yeah, that's not working. Uh, so we're at forty seven. Yeah, we have to survive two hits. Okay, I think if I play Battle Chance, he goes to 28. It's not 29, I don't know. I think it's 28, though. And then he weakens. The weakens kind of cancels out with my Vulnerable, I think. I forget which one applies first. 
I'm gonna say that we can applies first. So the base set is for 18, plus 3 strength is 21. Weakened down to... Sixteen, vulnerable. Uh, twenty-four. What? No. The base attack is for sixteen. Three strength nineteen weakened. Uh. Fourteen, twenty-one, forty-two. Yeah. Okay, okay, we have to do it. There's just no choice in the matter. We can't deal 14. You can imagine that I will be upset. Okay. Meat on the bone is huge. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12. Hey, there's that corruption that we skipped from now. And yeah, I mean. Is it good now? We can exhaust our defense versus Hexaghost. Which we don't even want to do because we have Juggernaut. True Grit can also exhaust burns. Guys, how are we going to beat Hexaghost? How in the heck? How in the heck are we going to beat a hexaghost? Headbutt, corruption, true grit. I guess corruption, I don't know. We do want another block card. True Grid is good with Juggernaut. It exhausts a burn. Yeah. I, I just like. Exhausting our defense isn't even that good versus Hexagos because Juggernaut makes our defense into Iron Waves. And exhausting Iron Waves is bad. So, I don't know. Okay, we can gain 10 block. We can weaken and gain 5 block, which is worse. Okay, that guy's buffing, so we should put him really low, and then 
we can kill next turn. So like two ticks of whirlwind is good. I'm okay to take one damage here. no need to risk anything with getting Juggernaut in play here. So we just kill it. Kill it and hope we can deal 18 next turn. Meet on the bone healing. We're back up to 31. Solid, solid. Guess what? There's a flame barrier. Flame barrier can deal a lot of damage to Hexagoost. Also a block card. Whenever you attack this turn, deal four damage back. It's solid, honestly. I mean, I do like power through, but Sukui, hi, hey. welcome. We, uh, we got a Juggernaut from Meow, and then we took a ton of damage versus a Gremlin Knob, uh, but we got a meat on the bone from it, and we're healing up a little bit. We're trying to figure out how to beat the Hexaghost. As of now, we're not doing so much damage, but uh, we have Juggernaut and Flame Barrier is good at dealing damage. We're Hexaghost, so we take the Flame Barrier. And we're gonna hit for 18. And we can only block for five. Well, we whirlwind, yeah. Whirlwind basically blocks for six because it kills the small louse. Ow. And this meat on the bone healing is actually going to be coming in clutch. An attack potion? Maybe it could give us a really good attack versus Hexaghost. You know, it's possible. Um, another true grit. It's a bit questionable. Definitely not clash though. Do you really want a second true grit? I mean, it's good for Hexagoose, right? It's just good for Hexagoose. Or is it? We have Juggernaut in play. We exhaust the burn some amount of the time. Are we fighting this elite? I think we are, yeah. We wanna, we'll get 12 HP back anyway. It's not Gremlin Knob. We'll get one, we can go for the Juggernaut plan. Yeah, just take the True Grit. Sentries again? Ugh, do I use my attack potion? Probably not. We just take the damage and then Hexagos attacks us for less. We never taking 37? I don't think we're taking 37. We took 30, 30 even last fight. Yeah, last time we fight them we had a lot less cards in our deck and we took uh, 30 damage I want to say. But we also use the fire potion. 
Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, we should probably just use the attack potion, huh? Fourteen thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Maybe there is some chance we take 37 if we don't use it. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. I think... Well, we're never killing that, right? 24? We can never actually deal 24. Which means we're blocking next turn unless we use this. save this for a bailout versus hexaghost but I also kind of want to make sure I don't die here and I'm trying to compute the probability of me dying here to absolutely no success because yeah so we strike this it goes to 24 we don't we maybe play block cards if we draw them if we we have a lot of block cards I guess we can decide to use the impact potion next turn after we see what we draw. Yeah, so now we could whirlwind our. Yeah. Well, Iron Wave is. Iron Wave, I think, is actually better than Whirlwind. Is it? Five to all versus five life. Yeah, we can take the life probably. Probably like this happens. Yeah. All right. All right. Fiend fire. Fiend fire exhausts though. And Yeah, okay. So what do we do? We whirlwind and then we fiend fire that guy. Then we might as well see Rainbow. Okay. Yeah, I might as well see Rainbow. Try to kill this guy when he comes back around for the next swing. Um, we actually don't want a battle chance here because we want to get the stuff in the shuffle. Okay, and hopefully we can deal eight. Nice. Okay. Burning Pact first? Is there any reason to? I feel like there's not. Yeah. 
any luck, we'll be able to deal 11, but I kind of doubt it. We already drew a lot of attacks. Oh, nice! Nice. Okay. I... Yeah, it's hard to say how much health that attack potion saved us. Like, I don't, I don't even have a good bound on it. Kind of a lot. Kremlin Horn is kind of useless for Hexaghost. Flex Potion... It's some damage. Do we want a third true crit? I mean, the same logic applies. I don't... Okay, maybe three is just too much. Like, we'll be exhausting. True grit. True grit exhausting true grit is not a combo. Um, they're not upgraded either, so just gonna be exhausting random stuff. How about flex? Nah. I do have whirlwind. Flex potion. You know, we really don't want a third tribute. That's quite excessive. Yeah, we just hope this is enough. That's all I can say. Okay, we should think about the upgrade, though. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Juggernaut. Because the fight's long. Yeah. My Twitch chat on the app is not working. Typing from laptop on the wrong account. You got this though? Hopefully. I'm not really sure though. Hexaghost has killed me many a time. Let's try to draw for the Juggernaut if we can. Uh, next turn we're going to need to be blocking. Uh, so I'm not sure if it really makes sense to bash. Probably just take the damage with the Heavy Blade. Ooh, we flex Heavy Blade for a Wombo combo. I do like the Wombo combo here. Deals 29. Okay. Heavy Blade scales three times with strength, so... It's like we played four attacks at once. We weaken this down, that saves us six. And Iron Wave. Um, too bad we didn't have Juggernaut in play yet. It was at the bottom of our drop pile. And we missed Flame Barrier on the turn. He did the big multi attack too, which is also a little sad. But now we can start. Okay, so this is an attack for eight. And even more, it's really attack for 15. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, can we try to set up an exhaust on the burn? Not guaranteed. Uh... Okay, how you remember Hexagos attack pattern? Slay the Spire is the sickest experience. Seer tackle seer uh and then is the so then in flame tackle so next turn he's buffing um which means that the weakness next turn is not important which means i think we wait iron wave always happens Trigger wants to exhaust on a burn. But that's not easy. Maybe we just trance? Yeah. I think so. Nice, we exhausted a burn. That's good. 
Very good. Very good, good, good. And then here's the tackle again. You can weaken it, which weakens for four. Saves us four life. Um, Iron Wave is obviously going to be played. She is defended in. So is it is it better to close on Iron Wave or to Iron Wave double defend? Um, it is much better to double defend, right? Get our Juggernaut value. Okay, so the big attack is happening next turn, and unfortunately we didn't draw a flame barrier with the big attack again, which is really unfortunate. He's lost the burn with any luck. Nice. Yeah, well, I don't think we'll die to the big attack, but... Six times six. Yeah, we're gonna die to this big attack. Uh well, we can draw for the battle the, or the true grid at least. Okay. Yeah, so we're dead. I kind of felt like every single decision I was making in this game was kind of having in mind like I wanted my deck to be able to beat the Hexaghost. Like, I'm not sure what I should have done to defeat the Hexaghost. I'll look at the VOD after this and like try to see how if there's like any small things I. Oh, does Burning Pact into Clothesline survive? Uh, it might, except there's not a Clothesline in our uh, draw pile. We didn't draw a Clothesline at the right time. Yeah, it was just completely at the wrong time, which is just unlucky. Uh, but we're not close to beating this, right? Like, it's at 100. I just, I don't know. What cards did I skip that would have been good? Well, maybe there was something in that shop. I guess the second clothesline, maybe, but I don't know. Rip win streak, by the way. Oh, that was defect. Last four were wins. Yeah, skipped uh, Rupture. Maybe Rupture could have been good. Uh, Sword Boomerang, no. Burning Pact, no. Healed from this. Could have removed something, but. Uh, yeah. It's just 
like kind of weird. Could have upgraded instead of uh, transform on this strike. We would have probably upgraded a whirlwind, maybe. Yeah, we skipped close line. Well, for battle chance, that one made sense. Uh, yeah, not too relevant. We skipped corruption, which would not have been good versus Hexaghost because our defense deal damage. And we could have headbutted something like Flame Barrier. Okay, maybe maybe I should have picked the headbutt instead of the True Grit here. Doesn't seem that important, but you never know. Headbutting, yeah, headbutting Flame Barrier for the big attack might have been relevant. Uh, power through, Infernal Blade, what is Infernal Blade again? Infernal Blade, oh the skill, yeah. I guess, I guess the one thing that might have mattered was this attack potion, right? Because we used an attack potion here. And whatever's in the shop. Yeah, I guess using the attack potion was a really big mistake. But we were kind of screwed with sentries too. But if we at least... If we had gotten lucky with sentries... Then... We could have had a chance for Sexaghost if we got something really good from the attack potion, like uh, like maybe a Rampage. Nah, that wouldn't even be that good. Maybe a Bludgeon. Yeah, a Bludgeon. Maybe, but it wouldn't be upgraded. Really sure what the issue was here. I guess I just forgot how to beat Hexaghost. How do you normally beat Hexaghost again? You just like get disarm. I mean, I've cheated with disarm many a time. I've gotten shockwave many a time. Shockwave is obviously quite good. Oh, I could have bought in the uppercut from the shop instead of the clothesline. And then we could have had it upgraded. Hmm. I mean, it's still not like a shockwave plus. Our damage was coming from Juggernaut. Why? Wow, what's the big deal about like getting invulnerable? I don't know. What was the path like? I already forgot the path. Yeah. Okay, does anyone in chat want I might I might wanna play some nerds with viewers in chat at some point. I don't know who's watching, but that could be fun. Basically it's this competitive solitaire game. Let me 
at least update my title. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but. Okay, so um, there's this game. It's a free game on Steam called Nerds Online. And I really enjoy it. And uh, you all can join and play with me if you want. And I will just set up the window capture. Oops, okay, my camera's gone. Ugh. Hello? Ooh, okay. Relax there, buddy. Um, lobby join link, copy to clipboard, and paste. It's basically a competitive solitaire game. Nothing but cats and I will play, and if other people can watch or you can join in. It's a free download on Steam. And I will change my stream title too. Yep, so this is a solitaire game. You have some piles to work with down here, and then there's a com collective piles up top. Down here, you go like red nine, black eight, red seven, black six, red five, etc., etc. And then up here, it goes ace of spades, two of spades, three of spades, four of spades, five of spades. And you want to clear out your nerds pile so you can end the round. Um, that's basically the gist of it. And we're both competing together for the spots in the middle. Um, three of clubs could go if there's a two of clubs, which there's not until now. Okay. Play this guy. And then so you get points for every card that you put in the middle and you also get points for um, clearing out stuff from your nerds pile. Okay, so I have one, we're both one card away from getting nerds which can end the round. Um, yeah, so she got it first, but I actually can I actually could have gotten it too this whole time that you finish up. When one person gets nerds, the other person can still move stuff around um, till the end of the round.
If you see anything that I'm being a silly goose about, you can try to nudge me in the right direction. For the most part, I do... Like here I'm saving an empty space intentionally, so I can do stuff like that, but... Sometimes I'm being silly. I just skipped past that black queen, which might have been useful. Okay, so what am I looking for here? Probably like a black eight, so I could connect those up at some point. Oh, this eight can go up here, by the way. Oh, black eight. And maybe I'll use up my empty space now. Try to go in. Go in for the win. Where does this go? something go somewhere black nine bad four red five can go here but not much point to that what is there we did it You get one point for each card you play in the center and two points for each, every card you clear out of your nerds pile. Actually, it's negative two points for every card remaining in your nerds pile. So you start out at negative 26 and then you work up to the positives by clearing stuff out of there. Sometimes I leave an empty space, but sometimes I don't. Not really sure when. Just kind of like if I'm patient enough to do it, then I do it. Hmm. Let's see. This doesn't go anywhere yet. No diamonds yet. Is there a six of clubs? There is not a six of clubs. Diamonds. Oh, where are things? Ooh. This has got to go somewhere, right? Right. This black ten could connect stuff, maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, let's go.
this seven doesn't go anywhere, okay. This doesn't go anywhere. This doesn't go anywhere. Ooh, I was too speed. <laughs> she is upset. Any of these combine? No. Oh, this goes here. Whoa, science! If I could put that here, then I would be chilling. But I can't. What? Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. Oops. Come on, I gotta be able to do something. There it is. Dang, I'm still spacing back to that ironclad run, trying to think about it. I do not move on from defeats easily. Okay, nothing combines here. Diamonds. Spades. Nice. We're one point apart. These are combining. Oh, this goes here. Oops. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere, though. Six of hearts, I don't think so. This goes here, this, nope. Take that. Diamonds. Uh, 
Get over here. Yo, what are we doing? Two of clubs doesn't go anywhere yet. This could go here, but I don't want to put it there. Seven. Hearts are coming soon. Better not miss the hearts train. Let's go here. No. Oh! All right. Oh, your category still says say the spire, by the way. Should I change it? Maybe I'll change it later. Thanks for the heads up though. Oh, this is not coming anywhere. Okay, three, no. Get these fast, okay. Not doing anything. Combine. Doesn't go anywhere yet. Do do. Could put this here, but nah. Because now we have an empty space because we didn't put it there. Mm. Oh, that combines. That's probably been there for a while too, the mail. Do do. Nope. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. We're so close. Uh. Nice. Ah, oh, technical nerds. Technical nerds. It says technical nerds if you clear out your nerds pile after the other person. Nerds gets nerds. Yeah. goes here. Mm. 
Let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Going too slowly. Oh, I missed the black five. Shoot! I goofed. Gotta go faster. There's that black five. Wait, it wasn't good anymore. Anyways, this is useless, this one is useless, this one is also useless, this one is also useless, this one is also not useless, okay, something. No, I lost. Good game. Good game. Final scores. Wait, is... Yeah, okay, I can update the game. Okay, we're back. Faster, faster, faster. Well, nothing collapses in here. Nope. Not yet. in there. Get over there. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. I could have put that there, but I skipped it. That was too slow.
This doesn't go anywhere. Come on. This goes here though. This one, nope. Nope. Could put that there, but nope. Hmm. Rip. Oh, wait, I could have done this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're still going. 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 We're not going. Negative two Pepe hands. Queen, no, it can't go anywhere. Where do I put my cards? Oh, this can go over here. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that. Don't. <laughs> Only we're one point. Oh, we're even, even though we nerdsed first, we got less points. Go, go, go! That was a pretty good start. Alrighty. Nice, nice, nice. Negatives. over there 
Thank you. Oh, this goes over here. I didn't notice that. Anything else? No. Oh, I could have put the red jack there. Diamonds. Uh, diamonds. Hmm. Nothing combining yet? No. Not yet. Not yet, but soon. We're winning now. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Can't think. Diamonds. Spades. Clubs. Spades. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Hearts. All aces, no spaces. Why did I put that there? That was so silly. It's just not the move. Nice combining. Diamonds. Fortunately, that doesn't go anywhere. Oh, that could have gone there, though. Oof.
over there. All black cards, what are the chances? What are the hecking chances of that? I clicked on it, I didn't mean to skip it. for here we are looking for oh that card but I already skipped it let's see if we can find one again maybe oh it's gone forever no it's probably not I just need to do this here we go This is cheating. Someone stop her. Maybe I'll keep an empty space this game. That could be fun. You can do stuff like that. Stuff. Well, I can do that anyway, but. Did you leave? Or is it lag? What is the issue? What hath be the issue? Oh, no legal moves? Oh, I see. shuffles if no one puts anything in the middle for a while.
Rip, that's unfortunate that you didn't have any legal moves. Oh, it's the same cards. Guess let's change it up a little bit. Six of hearts. This can go here. Nothing. This is a nice streak. Diamonds. Not like all good streaks. It's eventually time to come to an end. This is an insane streak. Makes my streak look like nothing. What goes where? I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, okay.
Oh, this goes here. Uh, what else? All aces, no spaces. What else? What else? What else? Where are the good cards at? Nothing, nothing. Not quite. Nothing. Alright. In that case... Nothing, 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 nothing! Okay, this time I'll leave an empty space, I promise. Because that way we can put stuff under our stacks. Putting king under your stack isn't even that good, but putting this under is. And this goes there. This goes under. Uh, yeah. This doesn't do anything. Wait, what? Oh no. What am I doing?
I can't believe I just that just happened. That is a little bit of a tilter. Why did I put that there? That was so 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 silly. Okay, should use opportunity spot. Something or others. Hearts. Okay, good game. Probably going to be done for now. But, um, thank y'all for playing and thank y'all for everyone who is watching. I'll see you tomorrow.